time management is crucial this week. My preparation process for long nights out because one thing about Wharton is we're partying for real. Really busy day, then I have to go to New York in the morning, so let's get into it. Hello friends, welcome back to the MBA vlogs. It is currently Labor Day. It's Monday of Labor Day weekend and I've got a bunch of work to do and I'm going to the US Open tonight with Hero Cosmetics, which is super exciting. Um, I'm in Philly. It's a pretty busy week entrepreneurship wise and school wise because it's the second week of classes. And then next week is the third week of classes, which is really when things start to pick up. Like I have lots of assignments and stuff. So my time management is crucial this week. And yeah, but I just got some packages and I feel like I haven't done any unboxings on here in a minute. So here we go. Let's see what came in the mail. So I have this big package back here and this is the art that's gonna go above my bed. I finally pulled the trigger and ordered something. And no, it wasn't perfect, but I like it and I think it'll really complete the room. So I need to get that hung up. I need to get, I have one other piece of art that I got for my um, apartment, for my for my like bathroom maybe. And I need that to get hung up. And I think I might just ask one of my guy friends to come over and do it instead of hiring a task rabbit. Because as a man, shouldn't you be able to do that, you know? Okay, so first I got this PR from a co company called Night Owl, Recovery with the Trist. Our proprietary blend provides, un like basically you don't have anxiety. Is, is it just like, it's like all this fuzz and then there's just like the packets in here. That is a crazy way to send PR. Like just like an entire box. Like this could not could have been at something else. And it's just four packets. Sorry, but that's a little odd. If you're gonna send it, do a better job than that, I guess. I don't know. Weird. And then I got this like obviously I'm always grateful for the PR I get, but like as a business owner who sends PR out myself, we're so thoughtful about it that it's just interesting. Anyway. This is from, anyway, this is from Makeup by Mario. Very fun. Love. And they sent over the foundation and their concealer. Ooh, concealer. I'm excited to try this concealer. If I'm honest with you guys, not me sounding like a complaining bitch today, but I've tried the foundation and I didn't love it. I bought it in two different colors. It just wasn't sitting right on my face, which was scary because I also, I love stuff from Makeup by Mario, but I think this might be a new drop. So let's hope it works for me. And then TikTok shop got me and I got those lip stains for your lip and you keep it on for 10 to 15 minutes, whatever. I'm excited to try this. I'm gonna try it today for my US Open makeup, but that should be exciting. Basically, oh, I guess if you haven't seen it before, if you're not on TikTok, it's basically this like lip liner, lip stain that you put on your lips. You keep it on for a while and then it like, your color stays on for way longer. So some people like go to bed with it. I got a couple of colors. I got this brown. It's like really dark because it's supposed to stain. And I got inked hazel and clover. Okay, so I think I'm probably gonna use this one. That is more of a like mo mauve color. And then I also have a brown, these brown ones. So this will be fun. Woo, can't wait to try. Yeah, so now since it's the Monday before school. I have a quiz in my macroeconomics class tomorrow, like be serious. And then I have um, like to prep for classes. So 
I'm gonna do some homework for the next couple hours and then I'm gonna transition over and film some podcast episodes and some TikToks and do some two collective work. So gotta get started. My fucking washer dryer is actually going insane right now. But I just did about two-ish works on two-ish hours of work on my economics homework. I have a quiz tomorrow. I mean I need to do it by tomorrow, but like basically like just reviewing all the information and I was going to switch over to podcast recording, but all my robes are in there and the sounds are so terrible, so now I'm like should I even do that or should I do more homework? And then, I don't know, I need to do two podcast little episodes, so I don't know what to do, especially because, well, let me just figure this out. Oh, we switched gears. I did some macro and then I just had to figure out what I was gonna wear to the US Open today. My bun looks crazy and I literally, guys, like, could not figure it out now now this is the aftermath but came up with something and now i need to film this week's podcast episode because i didn't like how it turned out last time but i'm like running around now because i need to leave i need to walk out of my house in 50 minutes oh brother here we go sat down to record and there's construction outside so that's great um, I don't know what to do. I'm a little frantic now because things aren't going right and I'm trying to calm myself down and know I will record this in the morning and be fine. Okay, time for results of the viral lip stain. It works and it's dark. It's really dark. It looks like I ate a bunch of cherries. Wow. But it works. I'll tell you that. We made it to New York. I completely forgot to vlog that I left my house because Temi came by, but we made it and we're going to. I'm actually here a little early, so I'm gonna sit at the bar and try to my phone. team i got in at 1 a.m last night um i took a hefty price tag uber back to philly and it is now i have two minutes before a call with our warehouse for two collective i just i got out of bed at 8 30 i'm so tired also like i got back and you know i was so tired i could barely sleep on the way in and then I could not sleep at all when I got home. Like I don't, I, I feel like it was like airplane, airplane sleep where you're half asleep the whole time and you don't actually get rest and that's how it feels today. And it sucks but I'm about to brew a fat coffee and have this call and to get started figure, putting out fires and figuring shit out. And that's just the day in the life of me. And on the drive home last night, I was, because I saw, I'll give you a recap later of how great the event was, because I love Hero, it was so much fun. I feel so lucky that I, that my first time at the US Open, I got to be in like a suite, like getting served honey deuces, not paying for anything. Like 
They paid for my Uber, which was insane, all the way home, like literally the best, iconic. So I essentially was um, super, I forgot what I was saying. Yep, I'm gonna brew a fat coffee and get back to work, I'm tired. Oh, I was thinking to myself, why am I like this? Like, why do I have multiple, why am I in business school running a business? Cause like, when I explain what's going on in my life to like the people at these events, they're like, what? This too? And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, what? What? I'm just crazy. I'm just insane. I'm just like it and I just don't know why. I feel the need to do everything, probably trauma, but it's working and it's really fun. Like I don't feel, I do not feel good when I'm not doing a lot. So we'll work that out with my therapist who I ghost in at the end of the school year last year. Or well, she's gonna have to make an appearance. She's gonna have to come back because we're doing too much. Okay. That was the fastest makeup you've ever done. The Westman Atelier Stick Foundation. So good for just a quick light beat. Don't even have concealer under my eyes on. And then I did this L'Oreal brow lamination. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. I've never tried it before, but let's go. Hello. Hey, Alexis, how are you? I'm great, how are you? Yeah, if you do have any other questions, just let me know. Will do, thank you so much. I'm really, I'm grateful for you walking me through it all. And we're heading to school. I left my vlog camera again, but I'm so late that I can't go get it. So we're back on the phone. I'm trying to be a better vlogger, but I'm sorry. But here we go. My besties. Oh, we already started. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Too Smart For This. It's your host, Alexis Warmer. Today, I really kind of want to talk about something that has been a major mindset shift for me lately. Good morning. It's Thursday, and I didn't vlog yesterday because I did so much work. It was crazy. I was so productive. Woke up. I didn't have class till 145, so I just, like, banged out all my influencer into collective work, which was great. What? This is a reminder. Order the balloons. Exactly. Gotta order the balloons. This so, Alexa, stop. So, today is Thursday, and we have a lot on the docket, okay? First of all, it's spirit day at school, or it's like jersey day, where you're supposed to rep your favorite sports team. I am wearing this cute little eagle stop I got from Anthropol or from Abercrombie and this old Revolve Argyle sweater and I'm so into this look um, and then I have oh and well right now I have a call a setup call with our warehouse and then I need to post a ton of fucking content but I'm gonna walk to school and then I have class I have econ and then I have entrepreneurship launchpad econ we're doing a case so this is at macroeconomics and we're doing a case on in if inflation and how inflation like blew up in the 80s and how Ronald Reagan when he became president like what the government intervention stuff like that it's like actually I usually don't give a f about my like finance classes but this is actually interesting because I've always been curious about why people are so attached to Ronald Reagan's economic policies and like trickle down economics and what all that meant so it was actually interesting to read even though I typically don't really like pay attention. So yeah, that was good. And then we have Entrepreneurship Launchpad, which is my class where like I get to work on Two Collective and I'm working on our business model today. 
and then I have an interview. So this is an interview for the like Wharton Startup Accelerator where you basically get in and you get resources and $10,000 to work on your business. And so I applied and today is the interview session and I need to really prep and make sure I know my numbers, I know what's going on and that I feel really confident before this call and I also brought another outfit to change into for it. So yeah, that's, and then after that, time to catch up on stuff and then and then it's my friend Temi it was her birthday and we are going to surprise her like our so this rewind tonight is white party white party is the biggest like for lack of a better word sleazy fucking time um at Wharton and it's like a huge party it's at this um, club called voyeur it's put on by the out for business club so the lgbtqia club and it's really crazy and that's tonight and so we are having an early birthday cake surprise for temi and then we are going to do uh and then my friend mike is hosting the like black at warden pregame so it's like the first time the first and second year black people will all party together and then we're going to a sleazy nightclub so Really busy day, and then I have to go to New York in the morning, so let's get into it. Alexa, resume playing. The quad is popping today. Yay! Look at this meat stick. Wait, you guys, but the <laughs> Uh, we left classes and we're heading to the Entrepreneurship Center where I'm going to do my interview. I have no idea what they're going to ask me, like at all. Barely have prepared, so I'm just going to review my pitch deck before and see what they say. finished the interview. It went super well. One of my professors was actually on the selection committee, so that's interesting. We'll see how it goes. But let's hope, because I need this resource. These resources grow bad. Uh, I know I look crazy, but hey guys, I'm back home and I'm getting ready. I wanted to, Chris, I gotta get ready always, tell you a little bit about my preparation process for long nights out because one thing about warden is we're partying for real okay and so a couple things i do first of all i just got this lip stain and it works really well i got the other one off amazon it's peel off lip liner and stain in cocoa and the other one was a little too red but i'm really excited about this one i have these party smarts and they are so good they really help with hangovers and i always take them when i'm drinking on nights like this I also give them to all my friends. They all work. I put so many people on this. It works. Another thing I do is when I do a slick back like this, I put on Got To Be Joe to f do the flyaways. And then I also put a like hairspray to cover up my bald spots on it. Then I do a body deodorant and I do a... I'll actually show you in the bathroom when I do that, but first we're going to do makeup. I just put on my e.l.f. primer. And what I'm going to do is conceal underneath and on top, typically. And then what I'll do under my eyes to brighten that up a little bit, I learned this tip from Jackie Ina, is just to put powder on before. And this is only something I do when I am going to be dancing and sweating a lot. So like I said, this is like a sleazy situation. So we are going to do powder underneath and up here. And then I use like a ton of one size setting spray. So there's that. And then, whew, yeah, I am, I just, that was my first sip of that Prosecco and it just kind of hit me like a bag of rocks. But I also leave out my stuff for tomorrow so that I don't have to make any decisions because I do have to go to New York in the morning, which is going to be like its own whole thing. But, oh my god, today was so exhausting. My interview went well. I am, like, excited about it. I really hope I get it. If I don't get it, I'm not going to be okay. So that's great. Um, but, you know, we ride. And I am, 
otherwise excited for tonight. Um, it's a big weekend ahead. Oh, you fell. It's a big weekend ahead. So I'm a bit concerned about that, but we'll be okay. Time to get ready and I'll show you my outfit before I leave. Okay, makeup's done other than gotta peel this off. But when I go out, like in between my thighs are places I sweat on my body. I've been using this Kiehl's cream to powder deodorant and it's really working. I'm a huge fan. I have a ton of body care stuff here. I don't know if I ever show you guys this, but this is the tea. My nasty ass dead skin from my dry brush. And then I use this Sol de Janeiro Drench Body Butter. Now, this one is better than their other stuff because it's a thicker body butter. I can't show you right now, but it's way thicker and it really lasts the scent. And then this is my scent for tonight. It matches. It's like a little going out moment scent. Really cute, really fun. And then what other stuff do I do? That is pretty much it. I prepped my skin today with the Charlotte Tilbury because it's specifically made for like under makeup. So I feel like that's better. And then this is the got to be that I used on my hair and my little hair like spray thing to get the color, the root cover up. So that's what we did. Skin is looking kind of flawless if I don't say so myself. And so... Now I'm gonna film my get ready TikTok and head out the door because I need to go set up for the party. I made it to Rebecca's in my fit. She looks so cute. We're running late, her usual. usual. Where one thing about me and Rebecca, we're gonna have the same thing on. So same bag. How cute is her place? Love. Period. Love. Love. It's so adorable. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. I'm very curious to see how you feel about this. Bye, 